מייקל רפפורט, שחקן וקומיקאי אמריקאי יהודי, שמוכר לנו בין היתר מהסדרה חברים. היי ג'ו, אתה יכול להביא מיפולס על זה? או, כן. כן, אתה יכול להביא מלטה צ'יז ומרינארה סוס? יו. כן, אתה יכול להביא את זה במקור. ומהסדרה נמלטים. אחרי שבעה באוקטובר עצר את החיים שלו בארצות הברית לטובת מטרה אחת, להילחם ולהגן על שמה הטוב של ישראל בעולם. מייקל רכש כרטיס טיסה לישראל בכיוון אחד, ומאז הוא לא מפסיק להעלות סרטוני תמיכה ואהדה למיליוני העוקבים שלו. הוא נחשף לסרטוני הזוועות, ביקר ביישובי העוטף ונפגש עם משפחות חטופים. אתמול התקיים ערב סטנדאפ בהנחייתו של מייקל. שבו אירח סטנדאפיסטים ישראלים מן השורה הראשונה. בהם מתן פרץ, אסף יצחקי, אלדד שטרית, אלי חביב, ואורחת הוליוודית מפתיעה במיוחד, טיפני האדיש. לפני ההופעה תפסנו אותו לבירה ולראיון קצר. מייקל רפפורט, תודה רבה על ההופעה הזאת. תודה רבה. אני שמח להיות פה. אז איך אתה חושב כשאתה היית ראשון להתחיל על ההתרוצות של חמאס? כל מה שקרה על אוקטובר 7 היה... ומתחיל להיות מאוד 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 frustrating and disturbing and heartbreaking and and I just felt that it was important to come here and to be um, with uh, my people to be with uh, Israeli uh, uh, people and to be as supportive as I can um, to all Jewish people do you think that the video that you make like 24/7 really managed to influence global public opinion I don't do you or make the videos on behalf of Jewish people. I make them for us. Make people laugh, or they make people feel comfortable, or I'm articulating a thought, or a feeling, or expressing an emotion. That's what I'm doing for. Well, people's stories, uh, you know, are supporting um, families, or, 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 or survivors, or, or, or victims. That, that, um, that those are more important to me to share that than my stuff what reaction do you get from family friends from followers well from my family and friends they've been very su supportive and you know, there's been so much um, anti um, semitism anti jewishness anti israel stuff and that's cool it doesn't stop me it doesn't deter me it doesn't scare me I have you know I have to continue to um, fighting for us. Uh, aren't you afraid it will hurt you in the entertainment industry overseas? No, I'm not, I'm not concerned about it hurting me. I am aware that I'm a little controversial right now, but at the end of the day, I know I haven't done anything or said anything wrong. I haven't um, said anything other than supporting Jewish people, uh, Israel, um, and if I said anything negative, it's specifically about the people that deserve it, which is the terrorists. It, it, I expected a lot more celebrities to be doing it. I, I really did. I expected a lot more uh, people, Jewish and non-Jewish, to be standing mm -hmm. by uh, 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 the victims of, of, of October 7th. And, you know, um, you know, maybe more will come. I don't know, but, you know. I hope so. I hope so. So what do you think about the conduct uh, of the UN and the Red Cross regarding Israel? I think the UN, UNRWA, should be shut down, completely done. They should be shut down. Their Twitter account should be shut down. The entire thing, uh, the Red Cross is, is, a, is an embarrassment. Um, it's, it's, it's a con, it's a hustle. A UN agency has been so detrimental for this long. It was like, it really was like shocking to me. Right now there is a huge uh, rise of anti-Semitism uh, in the United States. Uh, is this something that you feel like on a daily basis? To be honest, I haven't felt any anti-Semitism in my base. I haven't seen anything um, bad in New York, in Miami, where I've been since October 7th. Um, the majority of what I see is social media. I know what's going on. I haven't experienced it firsthand in, in my, like, right in front of me. But I know what's happening. And, you know, sometimes the things that aren't being said are more dangerous than the things that are being said. So what do you think about the students in the U.S. universities who are looking for meaning in life and support something they don't understand 
I think this at all. I think the students that are supporting Hamas, it's on the parents at this point. If your kids are going around talking about uh, 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 you know river to the sea and all this shit, and you're spending money to educate them, save your fucking money. Save your money. You're wasting your money. You're absolutely right. So how do you manage to maintain sanity and optimism during this time? I, I like to laugh. I look at the positive. I look at the the end game, and you know, live live my life. It, although a lot of it is consumed by what's going on, but I, I, I you know, force myself to live my life, and you know, and wrap my tefillin, and <laughs> and um, wow. you know, just try to like give myself a break. Asin the piece matan peretz ayam imarginei erev apro Israeli k'dei larim ktsat et amoral Israelim rabim. Ech zo magish lecha laasot erev kaze. Ena torah plegam wa. Ani lo kilo lo mavin shez korev bechal. Matat shez lo korev. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be amazing. And Michael told me, like, uh, we're uh, we're going to do comedy together. And I was like, yeah, celebrity promises. Uh, Michael Rappaport, thank you so much for everything you're doing for Israel, that you're fighting for uh, the good name of Israel in front of the entire world. Much appreciated. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you guys. so much. Prouder, be bigger, faster, stronger, and more Jewish because uh, Jewish people aren't going anywhere, and certainly Israel isn't going anywhere. My name is Michael Rapport.